woke up at five. It's currently about six o'clock. I'm just about to leave to go to a family reunion, my first family reunion. And it is 150 miles away. Instead of driving two cars, I decided to ride my bike there and then we'll drive back. This is the longest ride I've ever done. Much better. I'm kind of hoping to get there by lunch, have lunch and uh, start the family doing the things that people do at the family reunion. So it's gonna be nice. I have food, four energy gels and four granola bar and a snack. I always put uh, eucalyptus and peppermint just to clear my sinuses, make my nose wide. I already have a big nose, like genetic, but apparently, genetically, but if you have a big nose, it doesn't guarantee a lot of air in. So, 140 miles, about 9,000 feet of climbing. I don't know, 9,000 feet of climbing might be around, I wanna say 8,000 meters. So almost three quarter up Mount Kenya. But it's a lot of climbing for a heavy man like me. Let's uh, see what this trip is going It's gonna suck. But you know, I love to suck on the pedal. It's just the best thing. Ever. Oh, so this is so far the farthest I've ever climbed in my life. I am 54 miles in. Look at that elevation. I'm gonna go all the way to 8,000 feet. I have never ever went that high. So I have about 246 feet and 1.2 miles to go to the very top. I'm halfway through, a uh, little bit over halfway. There's so many flies around here, but the road is just sweet and quiet. It's hot. I, look at that. I'm above the tree line. Like, it is just so gorgeous. Ah, it's so peaceful and quiet. And I think there's a car coming. Yes, a lot of campers and tray, but I'm almost out of water, so I need to make one stop, and then I got another 70 miles to go. So I started from Utah. I'm going to Bear Lake, which is just over the state line of Utah, into Idaho, and I'm thinking it's going to take me about six hours. This is the biggest climb I've gone through. It's like a 20-mile climb been so fetching long but whew. all right I gotta keep it moving I love this oh still on the road 111 I got about 20 more miles to go to get to my resort yeah and check this out barely you know the camera freaking sucks you can't just see the beauty so this is where the family reunion of Purdy is gonna come to once I recover but look at this so I came all the way from this mountain it was a pretty fast downhill so I couldn't stop and have the aerial view but dang I should be doing that come tomorrow so I'm gonna go around gonna go around and somewhere there is where I'm gonna stay but all in all I am almost there and I tell you what because I'm used to riding this land of rides but it's midday I mean it's been six hours I made two stops to fill my bottle when it comes to the latter part of the ride, I'm just going slow. I could do it in six hours, probably do it in six and a half. Just to fit.
Feel the breeze, enjoy the scenery. It is just beautiful. Look at that. Even birds are flying and just oh. So their lake is behind there. But I've been to France, Paris, France, and I saw this. This guy. Paris. But I've crossed the state line. So actually, I missed the state line because I didn't know it's this further in. But the state line is maybe five miles that way. And I wanted to check out Paris. So it gave me a couple more miles. I'm 138 miles. And it still say Paris is one mile. So I'll probably be hitting 139. And I want to see what this Paris is all about. And then it also has Montepoli. All sound like French names. So maybe I rode my legs to France. Who knows? But let me see if I can see the Eiffel Tower. If not, then I'll call it a day. And time to go swimming and soak my legs in a hot tub because boy oh boy I feel like my voice is almost gone and it's two I started the ride at seven that gives me six hours on the road I made four stops so maybe time on a bike is maybe five and a half hours to be pretty good and if I see Eiffel Tower, I'll take pictures. Let's go check it out. So I'm already here. Cool sign. Welcome to Paris. 533? I don't think that's the population I saw in France. I saw a lot of human traffic. And it is just a long straight shot road to Montepoli. I guess no Eiffel Tower in this city. Oh boy! Finally made it. Dang! And this is the thing sometimes. Look at like I could probably fill up a bottle of sodium, aka salt you know for dinner and uh, so I made it to Paris I didn't find no Eiffel Tower so it was extra miles for the legs feels good so eventually oh my lady god <gasps> it is just salt everywhere eventually <clears throat> I ended up learning a couple of things you know, turned around, ended up getting around 145 miles. And I'm sick and tired of my bike computer. You know, when you do this long ride, 146 miles, that's what, maybe 210 kilometers in. It is fun. The view was great. The ride was good. I feel like I have done something with my life on a Friday. And so I'll recover Saturday, tomorrow. Usually, if I wasn't on vacation, I'd ride on a Saturday, recovery ride. It's mysterious, but when you do this kind of long rides the next day, you have to get out and ride so that your legs keep spinning. Then rest day, Sunday, then Monday, through the week, I keep riding. Lately, <clears throat> I've been getting about 300, 350 miles a week which is pretty good so I'm, I'm in good shape i was gonna give you a tour of the resort and but probably i'll do that on another video because but two things i learned out of this ride the views are great but two good things whenever you see whenever you see cool names like french name paris multiplier don't get seduced to go check it out because it's different from Europe. It's just 
maybe American French names. So don't do it. Don't be like me. It's so dumb. It just gives you extra calories to burn out and extra time to be on a bike. And then number two, I've been riding what? For about almost 10 years. And I just got here. I mean, it's one o'clock. The sun is pretty hot. And whenever I do this long rides, I get exposed to the sun. But somehow, I know everybody gets to the sun to get a tan. And somehow, I have never turned to be black. It surprises me. My shoes are black, my bibs are black. Look at that. But I just can't be black. Relaxation time, beautiful view. This is Better so good. There. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh. No, you're good. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like I'm in Hawaii right now. Only cooler. <sighs>